A mystery for the ages unlocked. One of Stonehenge's greatest questions now answered. The origin of its huge sandstone blocks or sarsen stones. We've had for many years people saying probably from the Marlborough Downs, which is about 20 miles to the north of here, where there are natural sarsen scatters, but we've never before now been able to say exactly where we think they're from. The findings arrived with a stroke of luck. Researchers analysed a rare chipped off piece of one of the monoliths from the 1950s and found that it matched sandstone still at the West Woods. What we're doing is a simple case of fingerprinting. We're taking some stones at Stonehenge themselves and we're working out the geochemistry of them. For that, we measure all the little trace elements which are in the stone. Now, sarsen's a really difficult stone to work with because it's 99% silica, and silica is a pretty ubiquitous mineral. The sarsens, which form the iconic outer circle, were erected at Stonehenge around 2500 BC. Each weighs between 20 and 30 tonnes, while the largest is about nine metres long. So these are enormous stones. Um, the process of extracting them from the ground, putting them probably onto wooden sledges, dragging them 15 miles over um, a valley, over hills, over slopes and bogs and all kinds of different land surfaces was a massive, massive achievement. The findings contradict a previous theory that the heel stone, a large boulder just off the main circle, was from a much closer area and put in place earlier than the rest of the Sarsens. The results could also shed light on the route used to transport roughly 80 of these massive boulders. But working out where the stones came from is simply another step down the road. The greater mystery surrounding the purpose of one of Britain's most recognisable landmarks remains to be solved.